Let's do this. What a start. What a start. Do we keep this sword and turn this sword into a falcon blade? Or do we get a shiny shell? I mean, shiny totem. He's just like me for real. <laughs> hmm. That means we have to buy another sword. Do I want to buy another sword? Plus, if we're going to buy another, we have to get, I mean, if we get falcon blade. We're going to have to get the whetstone. So it's best. Th well, I mean, we do have this relic case. So even if we have three weapons, if we have the totem, the shovel and the sword, three weapons, it maybe won't be that bad. Maybe it won't be that bad. It's fine. Money is fun. Money is fun. Are you still like doing car stuff? My issue is I keep getting Dancing Dragons late in the game. I want to like the first round and build around it. That's valid. Jumbos. <laughs> Jumbos are always the answer. All right, let's do that. I think we'll, I think we're just going to W key with three weapons because it's the funner choice. It's a good thing we got both of these on solo. That's a free freaking shovel on round one. Really nice. So let's do that. We might as well get this for the combination as well. I don't think we're going to be able to fit all of this inside of uh, what you call it, though. So that'll be fine. This is looking like a throwaway round. Unless I can like. Nah, that's not gonna work. I mean. Nah, I think this is better. Yeah, we'll go with this. Probably gonna lose. I mean, we will burst them, but they do have a banana and a shiny shell for healing. So our burst probably isn't gonna work and now we're out of stamina and now we lose. Or the game just goes on. Okay, we won. Him having another weapon, we lose for sure, 100%. 100%. Wait, one square back, one up, sorry. I wasn't for a while, but just got a new job. Traveling to car shows to sell radios for classic cars that have Bluetooth and everything, but looks old. Wow. That sounds pretty cool, actually. So you like work for the company that makes them, I assume? Very strong start. Agreed. We're going to get this as well. But yeah, agreed. Now we need to find ourselves a sword, whetstones, space. It would be pretty good. I'm thinking about getting this banana just for safety reasons. And now we roll. Sword, whetstone, space. <laughs> we got it all. What do we buy first? Probably just space and sword. Getting some whetstones might not, I mean not whetstones, um, getting some shells might not be bad. Reducing the stamina of the shells totem will cause us to stam out less, especially when we go against those spike shields, because we're definitely going to go against those spike shields. It's not a super small, um, yes, yeah, a super small company. I'll be gone for like two weeks of the month. Wow. You're traveling across the country to do that, huh? What it what it's mean probably prob rage prob rage just means I will probably rage. That's all that means. Like I will probably rage. You've never been a shovel enjoyer. Same honestly. I hey Bawa, what's up? I only use it on this build because I need the regeneration, the healing herbs. That's that's the only reason. Because getting four of these kind of is not the easiest thing in the world. The lovers cards does help. Um, but if I can get me like an extra regeneration from the shovel, that's like a W or a blueberry. That's like a W, you know, so. But usually if I'm not going for anything like that, I, I agree. And of course, we're going against the shield. Reject backpack battles. Yes, it has happened before. If you're trying to force a specific building, you lose eight times in a row for, the, for four hours. <laughs> it's not the best feeling. Damn it. You'll need to explain what this game is. Okay, so basically, it's similar to Super Auto Pets, because I know you've seen me watch Super Auto Pets. It's a deck builder, 
deck builder, backpack builder game where you have a bunch of items. You got four characters. They all have different items, different combination of items, a large amount of different builds that you can come up with. You basically just have a bunch of items together in a backpack and you go against somebody else's backpack and you guys fight backpacks. And that's why it's called backpack battles. And whoever wins wins. Just get a torch and a box of gems. Let me be difficult. <laughs> Can I get another Wetzel? Nope. But I did get a shell of regeneration in space. That is very nice. And we got this guy, which uh, I guess we can use somewhere. Not really. Unless we get the space. Or I could sell it. I don't really want to sell it. We should probably be W King for this Falcon Blade, right? Getting the Falcon Blade earlier than later is a lot better. <laughs> Especially in these early rounds where we need these whetstones. So we should probably be W King for another whetstone right about now, right? If that's the case, I'm probably just going to get this healing herb. Not even get this shiny shell. Unless a shovel can give me a shiny shell. Later is less possible. Agreed. How do you feel about the devs making it harder to force builds? Hmm. I didn't even know they were doing that. <laughs> to be honest. I didn't even know that was like their intentions or anything. Are you what do you mean by making it harder to force builds? Beach bomb pocket sand build <laughs> build to win. I tried that and I lost like three times in a row and I got just demotivated. I mean, yeah, they are adding, adding like items and... Hmm. Pause. This Hungry Blade is looking sexy. We could sell the shovel. Get the Hungry Blade. Gloves on sale, deck of cards. Or we just don't reserve the seven gold. Get this. Roll for another whetstone. Sell the totem. That's not a bad idea, actually. We don't have uh, we don't have um, stones. We don't have bag of stones, so. I think what they should do, honestly, I think they should add seasons to the game, where only certain items are in the shop. Like they'll vault items, add items, over like. I don't know, every month, every month they'll vault. I, like they can add as many items to the game as they want, right? But obviously it's gonna fill up the pool and it's gonna be difficult to do what you want because you just keep getting random items. So I think they should just every single month, they should vault a few items and add in a few items next month, vault items, add items next month, vault items, add items, and just keep like a, like a specific number of items and just keep adding whatever they want to the game or something. You think it's a horrible idea? Well, what's your what's your take then on a way of fixing a shit ton of items being in the game at the one at one time? What do you think your take is? Also, rolling costing two gold. Yeah, I don't know if I like that changed. <laughs> to be honest, randomness does keep the game more interesting, and it, and it adds a skill issue. Not an issue, but it adds a skill gap. Those who are more versatile and able to like come up with builds having the random web having the random items i feel like that diversifies like the, the range gap or the, the rank gap versus being able to force the exact same meta build every single time you're just gonna keep winning and winning and winning but the fact you can't do that and you have to think about what you're doing to try to win i feel like adds to the rank value Add an extra tier above golly. If you add dusk and down armor made by fusing holy and corrupted armor, you're not diluting the pool, but you're increasing the items. That is true. They could, yeah. So basically, just more combinations. 
but I feel like there'll be a point where those items are just impossible to get because you have to get a combination to get another combination. You got to get a combination for one item, get a combination for another item, pretty much like crossblades. Like you got to make the hero long sword. You got to make the falcon blade and then you get the crossblades. But that combination is so difficult to get. It's just not consistent enough to actually feasibly get choir, whatever. Like I would never try to go for a cross blades in a game. If I'm taking a game serious, I would have to force a cross blades in order to play cross blades. Dude, Gore Rose just hurts too much. Combinations with Rapier and Ripshaw would be great. That would be dope. Ripshaw and like I feel like they on, on one end, I feel like they shouldn't do anything with Ripshaw and um Rapier because it's kind of cool how they are weapons that don't require combinations. But I would like to see what they would come up with if they did add combinations for that. I like more combos a lot, but combos, combos would have to be very easy to make. Yeah. They said they are adding the last big mechanics next. I saw that too. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it will be. But back to this game. <laughs> I think you um I think you were right on selling the shell totem. We could sell shell totem and just get the hungry blade. Utilize the vampirism for our melee weapons and get both of those. It's a lot of stamina usage though. 0. 0.6, also 0. 0.6, I guess. Dark Torch would be amazing. That sounds awesome. I really like the unstable item that eats others and spits out equal value. It adds RNG benefit, but doesn't take away from forcing potential. I agree. Those items were a nice, uh, a nice addition. Five gold. I think... Yeah, next round we need to get this whetstone though. I don't want to go to round seven without a single whetstone. That's going to hurt us too much. Am I going to see this deck of cards later? I hope so. So this is early access and the last mechanic will be full release. What I'm playing right now isn't early access. The next mechanic isn't out. I'm expecting something next week though. They might say something during the week, but we'll probably be able to actually like use it or whatever next week or something. Hopefully. Two freaking stamina seconds is crazy. I'll play it though. Let's see what happens. Yeah, next round we have to get the wet zone. At least he doesn't have bag of stones using that shell totem. That's nice. Maybe we'll be okay, actually. I mean, he's only got one weapon, though. So, maybe this board isn't a good representation of us being okay. It's literally just a shovel. I'll get space, and now we just W key for a whetstone. Oh, buddy. That's exactly what we want. All right, so we, now we just need one more Gloves of Haste. I love that position versus the others. Getting a toad wouldn't be bad. And then we'll just have this here. I have it here. And we'll just rock this. I forgot to mention, but I also uh, buy and sell MacBooks now. Made about $100 to $200 per flip. I gotta go pick one up right now. I'll uh, make sure to check in whenever I see you live. Hell yeah, please do. I miss having you here, so. It's nice to see your face. Place? It's nice to see your face in the space, you know? I enjoy it. Matchmaking should have a priority, but not many people realize it's worth with it. I think they should expand on the ranking system. I also agree with what you guys are saying. I think they should definitely expand on the ranking system in you know some way, some form. I think cosmetics would be huge if they could just like expand on the cosmetics area. That'd be great. I think they should have season rewards. Kind of like how Rocket League, you get cosmetics for being a certain rank. 
so like let's say diamond rank you get like a universal hat or weapon for your character or reaching that rank during that specific season something like that they could also add like skins for your backpack or like let's say they add skins for leather bag backpack or let's say there's a specific background that you can unlock like they have like skin wise they can they could do a lot and they could use rank as like a motivator to grind a rank you get rewards you get skin rewards or whatnot i think that'd be awesome we might lose this one double shell totems with bag of stones a dagger double bananas on a hungry blade bro he's got the vampire like he does not have a bad build this is not a bad build he's got he's got the stamina as well but i mean we do have seven vampirism so that's good on us for having salmon and vampirism without that vampirism i think we would have been fucked here all right looks like we're fine yeah awesome I never noticed it looks somehow it's Excel for me. They nearly lost the game when they released the games with the OG Chibis. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like that. <laughs> they should make big dolls. That would be really cool. That'd be really cool. What are the chances I can get uh, gloves of haste this round? Also, we don't really need the shovel anymore. We got three healing herbs. We might be able to find one more, right? We don't really need... Can I even... I, can, I guess I can do this. But yeah, we don't really need the shovel anymore. I mean, it's not Instaproc in the crown. I mean, the, the heart, but... I'm okay with that. Do I get stone badge? Well, no, I need more toads. And I also need the deck of cards, so no. No stone badge. Yeah. Hmm. I could sell the shovel and go double Hungry Blade. <laughs> On a hero sword. Nah, I feel like I just need the W key to this uh, Falcon Blade. And we could just rock Falcon Blade here. Uh, Hungry Blade. But that would be better. I do want these three items, though. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's all my gold. I'm taking them, though. I feel like they'll just be beneficial. I still kind of want to roll. Alrighty. I'm glad I rolled. Okay, let's see here. We can sacrifice Flying Arlic, Garlic, and the Shiny Soul for four gold to get the combination, or we could just sell this guy. Because we don't need you anymore. Oh, with detachable attributes like coding, I will get Reaper. Wait, you mean like? No, nah, that would be crazy. Wait, if I'm thinking of, do you mean when you say attributes? Do you mean depending on like the items you're wearing on your character, it can give you additional buffs in game? Like let's say maximum health, attack speed, stuff like that. Just depending on the items that you like, you know, you get. I don't know. I think it would be cool, but that could be, that, I don't know. It's like a double edged sword. It would be a, definitely would be a double edged sword. Oh, you mean physical dolls? Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that's what you meant. When you said dolls, I thought you meant the freaking misfortune and Miss Struggles and they should make giant versions of these that you could put like in a, in a two by three. You know, like a big space in your backpack. There's a fucking huge doll. That's what I thought you meant. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, I should bonk you. Anyways, we're selling the shovel. I think that's a better thing to sell. And we're just getting this gloves haze. And then we're just going to do that. I think that's a little bit better. Fanny pack is nice too, so I think we can um, buy that as well. It's sell garlic. Or I could sell, yeah, sell garlic. Shiny shell, get the fanny. 
Fanny can just go here. Alright, our backpack is looking pretty good. We already got a toad. Three regeneration. Falcon blade on round seven. Wolf of Hungry Blade. Like, it's looking pretty damn good. I was like, what? No hesitation. I thought he was talking about something else. I didn't know he was over here. This <laughs> is like. I didn't know. Double daggers? Interesting. Steel Goobert dagger build. Have not seen one of these. Mighty interesting. Steel Goobert dagger build. Mighty interesting. We seem pretty tight so far. But he's got his DPS increase. From, uh, you know, 19 to 24 and a 10 to 13. And we are kind of not increasing in DPS. We got better survivability because of the vampirism. Yeah, damn. We have no chance. <laughs> 14 to 17, a 26 to 30 damage. Wowzers. Ding. All right. Giraffe. Nice. All right. We are getting infinite vampirism or um, regeneration, which isn't bad. Um, deck of cards. We need that now. I forgot we were going to go for survivability. So we need stone gloves too. Okay, so we need to go for stone gloves, which means we need to buy that. And yeah. Should I do this or should I? I guess I don't mind doing this. We could put the food around this guy. This can go here. That works for me. Except that other star slot isn't on the hungry blade, but I mean, that's okay, right? You feel like the weapon should touch? I mean, I agree. I just... I don't know if that's better than having Mr. Struggles touch both weapons. What do you guys think? You think the weapons should touch or do you think Mr. Struggles should touch both weapons? What's stamina at with those two? Um, a 1.2. Space Reaper? Space Reaper. What does that mean? Some vampirism would be nice to be honest as it does double on Falcon. True. You don't know. I don't know either. Because if we did do that, it would be like this. Or like this. And that way I can do that. And then this will be on. I don't know which one this should be on, though. It could the uh, Falcon Blade or Hungry Blade. I don't know where you should be. You think I should make it 90%? Like 90 degrees? Like that? Oh, uh, well, wait. Can I? I don't think I can. Well, no, I can. If I just put... No, because then it's not going to be inside of the relic case. I mean, I could do that. But the relic case. Oh, wait, I could do that. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, that works. We get both of the best worlds. And then uh, I guess this will just go here. And that still has the double star slots. Perfect. And this will go. Mm, it can go here. And then we could do this. Look at you guys being all smart. Heck yeah. I think I want to double fanny on this guy. There we go. Actually, you cooked. <laughs> nah, chat cooked. 
I would have ran with the the setup we had two setups ago. <laughs> but this works actually like very nicely. <laughs> Standardized positions. What are we going against? What? Nocturnal Locklifter on a Pandanomium? And he's getting a poison gooby on a Nocturnal Locklifter? I don't know what dude is cooking. At all. I think we're getting, yeah, we're getting infinite regeneration versus vampire. I mean, we're getting both, technically speaking. We'd be giving, getting both. Why are we losing? All right, there we go. There's our healing. There's our healing. Oh, now we're, oh, whoa, whoa. There we go. <laughs> as soon as this procced. Oh yeah, mana torch, mana thirst. On a pandanomium with nocturnal lock lifter. That sounds insane. Oh, that was expensive buy. <laughs> expensive. We have nothing to proc you. Give me some gloves. So I can get me some survivability on this guy. Oof. And we got another toad. There's that. We need stamina. No, we don't. We do not need stamina. Why poison goober? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, we don't need stamina. This one banana should be fine for a 1.2. And on top of that, we got relic case using 5% less stamina per weapon. Unless we go against a shield, Falcon Blade and shields don't like each other. But I mean, other than that, we should be fine. <laughs> Lightsaber? With brass knuckles? Uh oh, why are we losing? Guys. Oh shit, we did stamina out. Minimax the toad? What else can we add to it? Other than this other giraffe? I think it was minmaxed. Give me you. You get your solo. Oh, you mean like put a blueberry on it? Would that have helped? It wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> okay, let's see. I want to move you here. I think. Nah, we might be fucked. How are we going to do this? Okay, that's out. All right, figured it out. That works for me. That works for me. And there goes our heart in another region. That's an insta procking heart. Beautiful. We just need that corrupted heart now. And we should slowly but surely get infinite uh, empowerment. Make a stone cap. I'm saving it for the stone gloves. So I should do this. Oh, the whip for thorn bloom. I didn't even think about that. I forgot all about thorn bloom. You're right. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. And then we could just get rid of Hungry Blade, right? This is going to be hard. <laughs> Should we get rid of Hungry Blade for the Thorn Blue? For the Thorn Blue? That's going to be a lot more stamina usage. One a second versus 0.6. I mean, we could just buy it and save it until we get a stamina potion and then do the combination. We don't really have to use it once we buy it. Per se. I think we're rolling with this. I think we go for the heart. 
Because we could get infinite empowerment now. If we just get that heart. So, I think we go for the heart next round. I'm not sure about the rounds after that, though. Is this a... Oh, I was about to say. Is this a fatigue build? It's not. He just... He just has a bow and arrow. The shield is hurting us. But we have a lot of healing. I doubt we lose this. Yeah. I think we get heart and farm and power. Agreed. And if that's the case, should we get rid of the Hungry Blade? Because if we just have, like... We can have infinite empowerment on Falcon Blade. Like, that's a thing. And that... Would probably work. For the most part. We just need to buy this, though. I mean, technically we don't, but I'd rather just buy it, get the empowerment at the beginning of the game instead of waiting three seconds. No, we do have to buy it, actually. Because this these proc before the three seconds. Well, I mean, these proc, then it's just going to give us another region anyways to make that proc, but I'd rather have that be on the empowerment. I mean, alternatively, we could just sell the helmet. But I mean, flame whip is harder to get. Is it? All it is is a, a thorn whip and some flame. Unless you mean on a reaper, it's just impossible. I think I'm gonna sell this hungry blade. That's what I think we do here. I think we sell hungry blade, get this regeneration, instant proc our heart container. And at the beginning of the game, we're just gonna have, oh fuck, we're fucked actually. No, we need the deck of cards. We don't get clovers at the beginning of the game. Yeah, we don't get clovers, so these are, aren't going to do anything. We have to wait until the toads proc at 3.8 seconds. But by the time that happens, we'll have four mana. We'll have four mana from double blueberries in these two. So we'll have two empowerment, four mana, and two clovers, and we're just going to get infinite mana. Unless we take the blueberries out, but still, that'll just give us two empowerment, two mana, and two clovers. And we gotta decide, and the game is gonna decide between those three which one it wants to be infinite. Using gloves of power will take out one falcon star slot. That's true, but I think I'm okay with that. Falcon blade thorn blue requires some bowls. <laughs> Yeah, we do need a crown par uh, proc to pull it back. It is kind of expensive. How about we just stick with what we have here so we can actually utilize the vampirism um, and just get infinite regeneration or infinite vampirism, probably infinite vampirism. Um, and then we'll buy this next round. Hopefully we can see a corrupted crystal because that'll just solve those issues or even a stamina potion. To get that combination would be good. But yeah. I, I'm feeling confident in this build just being a default build like this. Versus this. Wow. Claws of Attack, Shovel, Mana Thirst. A Nocturnal Lock Lifter. He's also getting a Crown proc. None of his... I mean, we might be okay. He doesn't really have scaling. He has no scaling. Except for this empowerment. But other than that, he has no scaling. Well, I mean claws. But still. Like, barely no scaling. I feel like our build's better. This crown proccing is gonna hurt, though. Definitely gonna hurt. We're getting infinite mana? That fucking sucks. Well, that sucks. I think we're fucked, actually. I think getting infinite mana fucked us. Definitely. Any other buff there, getting it infinitely would have been better. Mm. Fancing, fencing, rapier. I have made choices with no regrets. This is why we make choices with no regrets. 
Does this solve our problems? Starting with two clovers and two regeneration or two impairment at the beginning of the game. That's infinite empowerment right there. I think we're fine. We just need to buy this. That was a solid choice though. Agreed. I mean, if we get the rapier there, it wouldn't be bad. It's clover regeneration, but we still would have probably got infinite mana. <laughs> What are we selling to get this? We got a cold here. I'm trying to not sell blueberries. I'm trying to like refrain from doing that, but I mean, we might not have a choice. I'm kind of trying to hold on to these items too. I definitely want to hold on to this for sure. I'm leading it with the hungry blade though, but I don't want to do that. I think I have to sell a blueberry. I think I should sell the Hungry Blade. We sell Hungry Blade, have infinite uh, empowerment with just Falcon Blade then? I don't know. I kind of want to keep this Hungry Blade in there just for the sake of uh, vampirism. Until we see a stamina potion to swap these out. I think we have no choice but to sell a blueberry and coal. I think that's a better choice. Just get 21 charge or car easy. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a better choice. We're just going to do that. Okay. So boom, now we should get infinite impairment. Unless we don't. You just had to give me a jinx. You just had to give me a jinx. These jewels are insane. Maybe we'll be okay. Oh, we're getting infinite vampirism, bro. I don't, I mean, that's not bad. That's not horrible. Better than infinite mana. I'd rather have the empowerment, 100%, but it's better than infinite mana at the end of the day. I think we're fine, because they don't have scaling. They have zero scaling. And we have infinite scaling, so we should be okay. Why are they not dead? There we go. 63 vampirism. 795 damage. Okay, we need to turn this into a corrupted. Unless there's another way we can get the empowerment. Because I don't want to get infinite vampirism. Infinite empowerment would be way better than that. Did I get this? Nah. I'm not picking that up until I see another gloves. All right, there goes our gloves. Bloodthorn infinite spikes. I think I'd rather just go infinite vampirism if I'm going Bloodthorn for the healing. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping to find a uh, corrupted. We need to get that corrupted crystal though. For real. Where are we putting this on? The heart? Probably not. Probably the hungry. Probably the smartest thing we can put it on. We should put it on the banana. Like this. Rotate the gloves and struggle. Somehow from this situation, so like this. But it wouldn't touch both. Wait. We 
Bin du dich? Gloves only on bananas better. I wish I could put it on both. Uh. Imagine one day they do not come back. <laughs> that was suck. Mana orb just in case you uh, plunder infinite mana again. I, the, oh, did we run into a mana orb? I feel like I saw one. I wasn't thinking that though. I should have thought that. Was good at it was at the start. You think we should just go back to the start where we had this touching? Both of the weapons versus like something like this. So just like. I think it was like this. Like that. We're basically worrying about stamining out, right? That's really about it. I say. Fast banana. It is 30, 50, 60, 70 percent faster banana. Oh, yeah, control Z is a thing. Hmm, forgot about that. Let's go for this. Kringy. How's it been, man? Been a hot minute. I used to watch you play Wizard 101. Really? Holy. It's been a, a long, 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 long time. Why you still do stone gloves? Because of Falcon. The whole point of the build was to have like a longevity defense based Falcon Blade with infinite empowerment. Why do people stone caps upside down? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Which channel did you used to watch the Wizard 101 on? Was it this channel or was it like my old Smojo 101 channel? I'm gonna go with this though. <laughs> you think it's just about time for Present to show up? No. <laughs> Fuck Present. And we're getting infinite freaking regeneration out of vampirism again. Versus a. Oh, now nah, we win. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> We're fine though. Hey! Alright, it's time to sell the Hungry Blade. We're gonna rock Thorn Whip and Heroic Potion. Let's see what else we can get here. We do need the Dark Crystal, so we need to look out for that. I don't think that's worth buying. Another one of you? Sure. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I guess I could put you next to that then. Um, this is just as good as having one flame sideways on Pyromancer. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Oh, it's Smojo 101. Gotcha. I remember um used to give away free packs and have fashion contests. Yep, and PvP battles for packs. Yeah. Those were the good days, honestly. Those were the good days. Vampo ammo is very nice on sale. It is, but I don't want to get infinite vampirism on a Falcon Blade. That's what's gonna happen if I buy that this round. It's gonna give us two, and we get two this. If this was a dark crystal, it would be different, but... Hmm. You won't? Yes, we will. It happened two games in a row. 
we're gonna have two vampirism we're gonna have two empowerment and we're gonna have two clovers and the game is gonna choose between vampirism and empowerment to give us I think I want to like do this instead. No. Uh. Hmm. Because I want my stone gloves to be useful here. Oh, wait, I literally can't just do this. I'm tripping. I can literally just do this. You always win 50-50. <laughs> I mean, why would I... Like, what would I use this for, though? Like, am I thinking of getting vampiric gloves or... Something... Because if we have 50 empowerment and 2 vampirism, that 2 vampirism is doing much. To be honest. I don't think so, at least. We're gonna heal! <laughs> it is 5 of gold. I could just sell it later. I'll buy it. YOLO, yeah. I love your builds, man. I was uh, just about to get tired of the game, but you inspire me. Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Thanks! I'm glad you're back on the game. It's a very great game. Hey, new 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 mechanic coming out soon, so you know, just try some fun builds and you you be good. That is true. Vamp gloves is delayed. That would be good. That's the first time I've ever heard of a buff being delayed being good. How about scaling flame? We could scale, not with this build, but like scaling flame would be good. Flame scaling, falcon blade with gloves of power. Is not bad. I don't think it's super fast. Hello, fast. It's a new mechanic. Yeah, they announced a new mechanic. No one knows what it is though. But imagine you get infinite spikes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that would be insane. At least we would scale DPS with this guy. Man calculated it and then chat pressure him into objectively worse. <laughs> Ruby's not on the board. You mean this? It's on the board now. Boom. Boom. <laughs> oh. That's a flame whip and a burning blade in an obsidian dragon. Shield of Aylor hurts us. Double pineapple. And a friendly fiend. I think we lose. I think we lose this game. That's my prediction. An L. Okay. Two regenerate, two vampirism, two empowerment. Let's see which one it gives us. Damn. <laughs> you see that crystallize? You see that? We're definitely losing. <laughs> We're definitely losing. A hundred percent chance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we lost because of crystallized. Let it be known. <laughs> All right, now we yeah look, we're taking this out because now we definitely need the empowerment for the maximum health. Like we need it now. Like need. It's a need. Or else we lose. Do I get this? I think we're fine with three misfortunes. Especially since we don't have any... We don't have blueberries like that. Uh. This is why you don't mess with the RNG gods. They listen. Oh yeah, Dracunic Orb eating up my spikes? Yeah. I didn't say to pull it. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you didn't. Give me a Dark Crystal. No. Brr. 
brother. Finally. Okay. Let's see here. Thorn Bloom doesn't... We, we don't really care about it. Doing anything but being there for the empowerment game. So... I mean, I guess we can just put it here. Yeah, that'll be fine. This is definitely not going on the board. Blame the voices. <laughs> Would we need to use gloves on both weapons, to be honest? Well, the thing is, we don't have stamina. So this is never going to hit. The only thing that's going to hit is the Falcon Blade. We will never have stamina. You can get uh, gloves and struggles on both weapons. We just won't have stamina. I mean, we have Relic Case, but we kind of, I don't know. I, we don't really need stamina. We just want the Falcon Blade to hit. That's it. The only reason the Thorn Bloom here is to give us the maximum health. That's its purpose. Its purpose is not to deal damage. It's not to give us spikes or empowerment. It's just here to utilize the infinite empowerment to give us maximum health for the sake of survivability. And then we can also use that for damage on the Falcon Blade. That's that's his only purpose, honestly. That's his only purpose. You think I should switch and put struggles only on Falcon? And then you can have uh, both gloves on both weapons. That I wouldn't mind. How do I do that though? And just put it like down here or something? It gives more empowerment, why not use it? Because it's taking away um, in my opinion, I think it's taking away stamina from the Falcon Blade. Like, I'd rather the Falcon Blade hit than the Thorn Bloom. 100% I'd rather that happen. How, how do I do this? How would I... Like this? And then just, uh... That? Or no. It's low chance of empowerment. It's just for utility. Yeah. If you have a lot of spikes, bloom, uh, thorn bloom hurts. True. I don't know if I like this. The only, the only, my only description is that I don't want the thorn bloom to be fast. <laughs> That's my only description. You think I should buy the banana? What would I sell to buy it? I could sell the hat. I kind of want to keep this blood amulet though. We bought it. I kind of want to get rid of it. But my only, like, I just don't want the thorn bloom to take stamina away from the falcon blade. That's my only scare right now. It's the only thing. That's the only issue I see. And it's being 50% faster is scaring me. I don't want it to be faster than this guy. So I could take it outside of the fannies. Like just remove it from the fannies. You think it'll be 10 it'll be 10% slower? The best I can do is re just remove the fannies. Like this. Whoops. It'll still be 30%, but maybe that's okay. It's a 2.1 versus a 1.7 inside of double fannies. I don't think it's going to be faster than the, uh, what you call it, by doing this. I don't think so, at least. Rehearted! Thank you for the raid. You think I should struggle to heart? I'd lose out on the 30% on the heart. I mean, I could struggle to heart. Could. You think that's better? 
or is this better? We're hearted. I hope you enjoyed your stream. What rank did you get today? I see we're still cooking. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. This is my last life, though, so I'm scared. I am scared. We don't talk about it. Oh, <laughs> feels bad. Feels bad. I think it's a uh, sim, Chris. I think cries. I think. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh yeah, blood ammo. No, no, we don't need that in our lives. We do not need another infinite vampirism build. We need empowerment. I actually don't know which one of these is better. Maybe this one, because we can still utilize the fanny and get it 10% faster. So we're only losing 20%. But I mean, this being at 140% faster might help, you know, maybe, potentially, possibly, probably not. <laughs> you got destroyed physically and spiritually. Damn, feels bad. It's okay. We'll bounce back. Flip Falcon Blade to touch heart. Flip, flip, flip the Falcon Blade to touch the heart. What do you mean? You mean like this? You want me to flip, flip it like this? You want me to do this? Have a nice stream. Good luck in your games. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you uh, rest well. So it's no longer 50 50 it's 70 30 now watch us insta lose after all of this bro watch fucking watch where the gloves is oh you mean like moving it here i can see this working um i think I mean, if I can put the star and the freaking thing on it at the same time. Mm. <laughs> you think I should keep the bloom out of the reaper bag? I think it'll be fine, no? As long as both of the weapons are inside of the bags, right? I think it'll be, no? Some ranger burst build is waiting for me, right? Hey, mad wife, how's it going? <laughs> I'm putting a hammer dagger build is just right around the corner. Doing all this prep work. Watch you still lose. Yeah, I think we're fine with this. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. I think it's okay. I'm gonna just rock with this. What are we going against? Oh, shit. A busted blade with double heroic potions? Double dragon skill armor. Oh my god. What do you guys think? Do we lose or do we win? Do we lose or win? You're kind of new to the game? Can you give me some quick tips at the beginning of my journey? My quick tips would be... Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. My quick tips would be to... I would probably... I would probably play all of the classes like at least two times, two, three times to figure out which one you like the most. Um, and then after that, I would probably like try to learn all of the items in the game, like what they do. You know, just play the game, play around with it, learn all the items, what they do. And then after that, I'd probably like do some research on different builds, look at some YouTube channels, look at Reddit, look at Discord, see what everyone's playing on that specific build that you chose. And then after that, I would just um, try out the builds and uh, go from there. Dude has all the runes. Right, he does. You guys think we lose? We lose. Damn. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, we're getting infinite impairment, which is great. Betting on that infinite freaking maximum health as well, which is great. 60 damage. Okay. Okay, okay. Berserker mode is going to be a bitch, though. <laughs> All right, Berserker mode. 77 damage. 
We need better clover generation if we survive. We definitely need better clover generation. Bro, the freaking three spike collars hurt so much. That freaking damage reduction is insane. He just keeps on increasing in damage. We can survive maybe three more hits. I think we win. I think we win. Okay, great. We win. We win. Doubters. Where's the doubters at? The doubters. I'm pulling at you guys. The doubters. I'm gonna name y'all by name. I'm calling y'all out. Bawa. Um, 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 freaking, um, meta. Um, 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 I think that was it. <laughs> Chris Elias said we barely win. I can't, I can't call you out. Okay. Who else was it? I think it was just y'all two. Yeah, we won. <laughs> Buy a lot too. 300 health's worth. Bro, Thornbloom? Peak. 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 You think the gloves carried? Let's see how much uh, block we generated. Oh. We generated 174 block from one gloves of power. We need like two more. That was, that was, I thought it was going to be like 40 or 50 or 60. 170 is a lot. I believe. <laughs> Hell yeah. We can beat anything now. Let's do it. I do need to start making chat bets. <laughs> that would be great. We can finally incorporate this guy, I guess. Somebody wants to. But yeah, we could we can incorporate this. A blood, 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 um, blood gloves, blood vampire gloves might not be bad. Potentially. What is this? Twelve? There's no way we get this to proc, right? I don't need any of that. I need more blueberries and toads. We need better clover generation. I think clover generation is the way. Another misfortune? No. We don't even generate clovers for you. Hmm. Another no. <laughs> God dang it. Another no. Shitty shop. You think I should stone helmet it? Eh, we only got three rounds left. What are the chances we'll find another gloves? Unless I roll and we find some, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? <sighs> All right, I'll make it. <laughs> I'll make it. I'll make it. I should have bought space. What is this? He really wants us to just trigger ASAP. <laughs> but double amulets of the wild and an energy. Wow. This is one of those builds you get when you're using uh, the offering bull. <laughs> you're just giving the offering bull everything you have. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we beat this guy. This will hurt. No, it won't. <laughs> He's not hurting us at all. The last guy was a bigger threat, right? Watch me lose. Watch me talk all this shit and still lose. He's running boots. <laughs> he knows the secret. We don't. Hey. I mean, we're, we're ending up with lower life than we did with the greatsword, dude. We ended up with 300 on that guy. We got 244 in him. The amulets, the flutes, the boots. He knows something we don't. He's cooking something we are. And then we find the gloves. I should just make vampire gloves at this point, right? Like, that's ideal. I don't think I need another cap. Nah. Every time I say that, I go against a burst build where a cap would have helped. I go against a hammer dagger, but every time I, I don't need another cap. The next game is a hammer dagger build. <laughs> Always. We're taking it. I have PTSD. We're taking it. Mm. I guess we'll just make the vampiric gloves. Five vampirism versus two. Is better. And space? No space? Space? No space? Are we even... I don't know. I don't think we need space. I feel like any items we buy now would just be one slaughters and that would just be toads. A crown maybe for utilizing the mana we gain from the toads in this BB. 
L A E um gato. That is not English. <laughs> what language is that? Oh, you guys are from Brazil. That's why. I'm tripping. Do you even eat anything at this point? I was trying to get more gloves of power, but that's not happening. So just a crown. A crown proccing. Just something to use the mana. Wouldn't hurt. More toads for more clovers wouldn't hurt. That's really about it. That's all we need. Oh, it's Portuguese. Gotcha. What did I just say? <laughs> Yo, pass the bikers race car now. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you think we need stamp? Maybe some stamp pots. I'll buy this next round. That's what we're going to look for. We're going to look for stamp pots. Um, a crown. And that's about it. Stamp pot to crown. And that's about it. Oh. Holy Spear Falcon Blade. I don't like this guy. Let's see what happens. Rocking that at the very beginning of the game, that's probably not good for him. I'm actually very surprised that we're not like not stamming out right now. I mean, we're about to, but we got a good amount of hits in before we actually stamped out. I am very surprised, actually. Yeah, the bag reduces it. Yeah, that might have been a lie, but I thought we were going to be like a lot worse than that. What's our stamina usage? It is a 1.6. That's not bad. 1.6 isn't bad. Nah, we can't get another one. Wait, yes, we. I mean, technically, we could get another one. Or we should get a Nico. No, we shouldn't. I thought this was godly. No. So it'll only increase the speed of the Thorn Bloom. And a Heart of Darkness, I guess, but meh. Nah, nah, nah. We shouldn't do it. We should. It's just a boring Molten Spear. Hold up. Are you. Are you. Are you slandering Holy Spear right now? I have you know, Holy Spear is one of the best items in the game. We can't get another one? Another what? You talking about Blood Amulet? We can. As long as we don't start with the, you know, does it, you know? And I guess five, uh, seven is better than five. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Yes, we keep this. We keep this in a build. <laughs> kidding. Am I kidding? Am I kidding? Who knows? Am I? Who knows? Yeah, the Holy Spirit is buff last patch. Why? Am I sure? Yeah, I'm selling this. <laughs> I was kidding. I wasn't actually going to keep it. It was a joke. It was a joke. I'll take this BB. And last roll. We buy this and we sacrifice everything. Every fucking thing. It means you are a cat. I never managed to make a Holy Spirit build work. I have. It's actually really cool. I'm not going to lie. It lacks in damage, but like, I like the survivability you have. I like the, um, the vulnerability, the block removal, the debuff removal. It's really nice. It's good against heavy poison builds. Yeah, it's good against poison builds. Um, Line builds, high block builds. The only thing it lacks in is damage. That's it. As long as you can figure out damage, you're fine. Like I rocked a Falcon Blade Holy Spirit build that did pretty damn good. Did pretty damn good. You need um, mana generation for low reward. You only need like one mana orb. One mana orb and you're fine. Rolling for two gold hurts, it does. <laughs> I had nothing else to buy though. I think we're just gonna rock with this. There's nothing I wanna sell. The only thing I would sell is this for five gold. I'm not buying anything here. Or there. So yeah, here's the build. A Falcon Blade, Thorn Bloom, Infinite Empowerment, 
Damage coming from Fire Complete, Blade, Survivability coming from Thor and Bloom. A little bit of survivability from the Gloves of Power. And then 35% faster with a little bit of Vampirism. Insuprocking the Heart of Darkness for 4 Empowerment. And yeah, this is the build. I am proud of ourselves. We should... Whoa. We might be fucked. Double Kappa discount for his 30% chance to nullify above. We gain 2, 4, 6, 8. What's 30% of 8? Quick maths. 30% of 10 is 3.33. So 30% of 8 is like 2. So we're going to gain 1 less. 1 to 2 less. Regeneration means our Heart of Darkness might not proc at the start of the game. <gasps> and if that happens, we're cooked. If that happens, we get infinite vampirism. Let's just hope it's a one, because we can afford one. We can't afford two. On the bright side, we still two buffs prioritize the regeneration. They gain regeneration. So maybe we could just steal their regeneration after they take ours. Hopefully. Hey, there's a third one. Where did you come from? Now nah, we're cooked. Why do you have three of these? What is your purpose of having three of these? Three. You don't need three. Three is crazy. We might not be going to Empowerment. Might. <laughs> oh my god. Send me your Holy Spirit build for further inspection. I'll, I'll play the video after this. I'll play like the last battle we did on that after this. You get all the buffs? No. Well, I mean, we do steal buffs from him. But if we don't start the game off with Empowerment and start getting infinite Empowerment, we might get infinite something else. And if that happens, we're cooked. We just If we get infinite Empowerment, we might be okay. Maybe. Double Nikos, bro. A stone golem? No, his stone golem is going to insta-proc. This is what this is for. Still, stone golem insta-proc. 150. And then he's going to be stunning us. I'm glad we got the other cap. Because we have a, what is it? 40% chance? Versus double these? Bro. So many shell totems. Okay. He also has a bird. This guy counters us. This is a counter build to us. He's got the cap of discomfort. He's got the bird. Like, this counters us. We might be okay, maybe, but it's gonna be close. I feel like at the start of the game, whatever happens at the start of the game will depend on who wins at the end. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got our empowerment. Great. We insta proc. Beautiful. He actually didn't remove any regeneration from us. Maybe it doesn't work until after you get it. I don't know. But that's great. That's good. So we're getting infinite empowerment, which is, <laughs> which is what we needed <laughs> for sure. But it does affect our giraffes, though. So we're not going to get as much of... Oh, that is close. <laughs> that was actually a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Bro, wait a second. Why, why are you getting empowerment? Oh, because of this? Bro. Nah, we're going to steal it, though, right? After we steal the rest of his regeneration? Well, no, he's getting infinite regeneration. So we're never stealing his empowerment. Okay. This is super close. Nah, we win this. We win this. We don't win this. No. Did we stamp out? We stamped out, didn't we? We stamped out. Was that, was that him honking? I don't know if that was him honking or us. Man. We didn't stamp out. I'm sad. That was a good game, but that was a direct counter. Sneaky hammer. That was a direct freaking... Bro, three Kappa Discomforts. Three Kappa Discomforts. One less than we win.